Hey, good people. So welcome back to the second case for this week of Forever on Friday. In this case, we are going to Vegas. Yes, the Las Vegas. Of course, again, this video being so short, you obviously know, not all information. Sources down below. Uh, the murder weapon is obviously, oh, it's, well, I guess one of the murder weapons is hence why I chose this case specifically. So with that being said, let's get started the video. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? So we don't know the date of birth of the killer or the killer's ex-girlfriend, but we do know the date of birth for the victim. So I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like this all really matters. So we're really just gonna get straight into like the day the murder happens, because kind of like all we have publicly. So basically this is girl named, sorry, woman named Grizel on Zaga. She is dating a woman named Alexa. They date for some time. I don't even know how long they dated, because it didn't say. Of course, eventually they break up, hence why Alexa is Grizel's ex. So, I guess Grizel didn't like being apart from Alexa, of course, you know. So then on the night of December 6, 2019, Grizel tells Alexa that she has a surprise. Obviously, Alexa is, like, probably annoyed, and she's like, uh, you're not welcome. Like, don't come to my house. Because Grizel is offering to come to her house for the surprise. And Grizel ignores Alexa's wishes and comes over on a ride share to Nevada from California, which I know that she was expensive as hell, just, like, to come to her house. So, yeah, front door is locked. So we, she goes to the back and gets in through a sliding door in the back. So I guess the sliding door like wasn't locked. And she goes up to Alexa's bedroom because obviously they dated. So she knows like where everything at and stuff. And she finds her in bed with Travis Smith. Now, sources differ. Some sources say Alexis and Travis were like doing a nasty when she walked in on them. Others were saying that they were just hanging out. And there were other sources saying that they were just friends. But pretty much every source I saw said they were in bed together one way essentially or another. So our victim, Travis Albert Smith, was born on November 21st, 1997. So he graduated from the Motorcycle Mechanic Institute in Phoenix. And that's pretty much all we know about Travis, sadly. So then Grizel, of course, starts attacking Alexa because she feels betrayed, even though they're not together. So it's not even cheating, but she's still obsessed with Alexa. So then Travis also jumps in because, you know, that's what, you know, as a man does, he jumps in. And so, of course, she starts attacking Travis with, like, tweezers. Um, she's actually stabbing the both of them with it. And Travis eventually gets her out of the house. She breaks back in somehow. So, they didn't even lock the door the first time. She broke back in. And apparently, she, at this point, some point, she grabbed a knife. It was stabbed him. Hit, stabbed him with that. And apparently stomped on his forehead. Uh, so then, of course, she, after she uh, chokes Travis unconscious, she then destroys some of Alexis' items. This is including, like... Uh, broken eggs with glass jars. Items in the cupboards were pulled out. Uh, there were several knives and a knife block. So, you know, the, where the knives go in and stuff to, like, have them organized and stuff. They were on the floor. Uh, and I assume the, one of the bedrooms in that house, a TV and a lizard aquarium were also on the floor. And so the tweezers that were used to stab both of them were found on the floor as well. Uh, the knife that said to have been used was found in a Tupperware container next to the bed. So Travis's uh, belt and phone were found next to him. Alexa also called 911 because you know, Travis is hurt pretty badly. Grizel had apparently left by this point and she called 911 too, but she said she called to explain her injuries as she got into a fight, but make herself sound like the victim, as most of these killers uh, so a good chunk of these killers usually do. So then, of course, Grizel is found still close by and she obviously is arrested. She admits that, yes, I did kick him because it was pretty obvious that she was the one who kicked him, but I didn't stab him, even though she did say in her statement she didn't give a knife from the kitchen. Uh, Travis did sadly die at the hospital. It says he died that day. I think there's like one source that said he died like the next day. But what we know is Travis did die, sadly. And so, of course, the GoFundMe is made and more than $4,000 was raised. And so, in March of 2021, Grizel is found guilty of voluntary manslaughter and felony battery with a deadly weapon. And she is sentenced to three to ten years in prison. So, of course, that is all we know of right now. Uh, since that happened in March of 2021, the earliest she can get out is March of next year. Or at the very latest, she will get out March in eight years from now. So, yeah, of course, a very short sentence. Um, it is manslaughter, so I guess she got, like, a plea deal. Because more than likely, she probably didn't know Travis was going to be there. Because, like, apparently she was caught off guard that he was there. 
So I guess that's how we got manslaughter. But yeah, of course, let me know what you think down below. Um, I definitely think she shouldn't have got manslaughter, but you know, I'm not, I'm not the judge. I'm not the one to decide that. And so, yeah, if you have any cases that involve people killing with involving instruments as weird as a tweezer or something even weirder, let me know. And I'll see you fans in the next one. Bye. So with the play dead, will you regret everything that you did that you said? I don't think you understand what you're doing. And my heart's black and blue from the bruising. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing. Sitting there gaslighting and confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions. I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a dawn. Never really know.